what's the relationship like today between the egg industry and, and yourselves? I mean, you mentioned there you hadn't even had eggs out. Now you have eggs out. You're selling a lot of them. Uh, is there, is there a, an active kind of relationship there? Yeah, it's an interesting one. It's both a, on one hand, an extremely competitive relationship because our competition is an egg from a chicken. Like flat out, that is our competition. If you go into Walmart, you go into Whole Foods, you go into Publix in the South, that's what we're competing against. Um, and there are many companies in the egg industry in the U.S. and globally that are not not a fan of what we're doing. And there's another side to it. And this is a side that would have shocked me if I knew we were doing this, uh, would be doing this in the early days. A number of egg companies are our partners. So there's a company called Michael Foods. Um, most of your listeners probably have never heard of them. Um, but they sell more eggs to more restaurants, large and small in the United States than any other company. So if you own a lot of big fast food chains, you go to your favorite diner, often the omelet or the egg patty that you're eating is a Michael Foods egg. We just don't know it. It's just not branded that way. So we signed a deal with Michael Foods uh, a couple years ago to have them um, convert our key protein into the finished product, warehouse it, and then utilize their 700 or so people that are a part of their selling network to sell it into local cafes, diners, and big fast food chains. Mm. So as an example, we launched nationally with a company called Pete's Coffee uh, last year. Um, we just launched today with Caribou Coffee, 400 stores. Michael Foods was um, leading the way and selling it into those places. And they had people every single day who now will go into a restaurant and say, you know, hey, my name is Jim. We sell chicken eggs and we sell an egg from a plant called Just Egg. And um, this goes back to this how you view capitalism thing. So do I think the egg industry is any less problematic than I used to? No. I think exactly the same things about the industry. But if I can figure out a way to plug into that infrastructure, if I can figure out a way to harness some of that energy mm -hmm. to increase the probability of an egg from a plant being the most consumed egg over the long term, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that a lot of people that I've met, whether at Michael Foods or other egg companies that we, we work with, when you sit down and you have some coffee with them, when you sit down and you have dinner with them, they're not, they're not fixated on harming our health or harming an animal or harming the climate. What are they fixated on? Human things. Mm -hmm. Building their career, making money, trying to figure out a way to send their kids to college. Human things, right? things we're all fixated on. And if they can figure out a way to do more of those things they're trying to do by selling an egg from a plant, as opposed to an egg from a chicken, they're going to do it. Mm -hmm. um, but back in the day, you know, I would have never thought that we would want to plug in and partner with an egg industry that I was determined to determine a fight.